I was lying in a pool of blood on the cold marble floor of my New York City kitchen on April 21st, 1993. My heart was beating so hard. It felt as if it were about to bounce out of my chest. Every inch of my body was in excruciating pain. I started thinking to myself, this is it? I'm dying? What was my purpose here? here? Hi everyone. This is Gadget Trish, or JT, and I just did a little excerpt from LaToya Jackson's New York Times best-selling Starting Over memoir. Um, before I get into this review, I have a confession. Okay, here's my confession. Like many people, I was seeing some of the, the, the drama with LaToya play out publicly, and I was confused. I wasn't a fan of her actions, and um, pretty much judging, thinking, oh my goodness, this woman is, is so mean, she's turned against her family. And then time's gone, you know, time has passed, and I noticed that her family and her were back together. You know, she was by Michael's side by the trials, and of course she's been his voice when he passed away. And my thought was, well, if her family can't forgive her, then why not give her a second chance? And I think as the as being part of the public and, of course, the media plays a huge role into some of the drama with the Jacksons, I just think that we're not privileged to know the backstory and we shouldn't be so quick to judge. So with that said, let's go for it with the review. The reason for that confession is that I, I personally feel that everybody deserves a chance. Um, for redemption or a chance to start over. The perfect title for Latoya's book. Um, basically, the first half deals with her abuse with her husband slash manager, and pretty much how he was able to, you know, get in her life and slowly but surely find a way of controlling her. And she also found those parallel connections with Michael and how Michael had the wrong people in his life and how they were trying to control him. And I will be honest, get your box of tissue. This is a very sad book. I mean, for the first half, she's abused. Um, and her whole family, unfortunately, was caught, caught in the crossfire of the, of the situation. You know, they were being embarrassed publicly and, of course, the whole Michael drama or whatever. And then the second half, she has to repair all this damage that was done from this relationship, both with her family and publicly, because she was, she, was, she was actually known as one of the most hated Jacksons, unfortunately. And, of course, what she's gone through the years before Michael Jackson passed away and, of course, you know, how she's trying to bring justice to her brother's death. She made some really interesting points about certain things and factors to why she, she thinks her brother was murdered. And it, the book was mind-blowing. I, I mean, it's a bestseller for a reason. And all I could say is none of us are privileged to anything outside of our own lives. And, you know, in, in one of the lines that Latoya said that I read, she, she, she wanted to know, you know, you know, what was her purpose. I think her purpose now is to empower women or men that are in abusive situations or if you're in a controlling situation and may be in business. What are the signs? What to look out for? Um, and... It's important to try to get out. I think my only criticism is I, I really wanted to know a little bit more about her life after the abuse. Like, did you, did you ever find love? Did you ever find someone that you were in love with, like, in a relationship? Um, how, how are you dealing? Like, what are the scars mentally that you're going through from being in such an abusive relationship? Are you able to trust again? I don't know. Like, I felt like I wanted a little bit more of life 
her life personally after the abuse. I, I, I got a lot of her life professionally and a lot of her life with her family, but I don't think I got enough of her life personally. Are you able to love again when someone does what your ex-husband has done to you? But overall, it was a great book. I would recommend a good read. You know, there's a lot of critics on this book. You know, they think that Latoya is exaggerating and, her, you know, whatever, whatever. But my question is, did you even read the book? And are you even open to say, well, she might be right? You know, I, I feel like it, we're still in the 90s and we're still fighting Michael's battle with Latoya. And I don't think Michael needs us to do that. I don't think Michael ever needed us to do that. This is family business. This is family drama. And I think we just take things too serious. Like, that's just me on this. You know, I'm not trying to start an internet discussion, but I'm just saying I feel like some of us has taken this to a whole different level. An unnecessary level. But I'm just going to leave on that note. Um, this book could be purchased um, at most fine bookstores, Amazon.com. It is available in the Kindle version. I don't have a Kindle, but you can download Kindle for free for your iPod Touch or whatever, or mobile device or laptop. And until then, get the Trisha's out. Bye. Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy moly, you got this on the show! Love you, God bless. So pretty.